Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. What exactly do we know about the Yoruba star actress Liz da Silva? Her name is Elizabeth Omoumi Tekovi da Silva. She was born in Obalende, Lagos State, to parents from Togo. She was raised by her mother, who died before she started her acting career. She got inspired into the theatre world from her secondary school days, when they used to participate in school dramas. This beautiful actress ventured into the make-believe industry in 2004 through Iyabo Ujo, the movie that shot her into the limelight was titled Wakati Meta. Apart from being an actress, she's also a producer. She has produced some movies. The first one was in the year 2007. Her movies include Desire It's on Jen, Mama Insurance. Her role model in the movie industry is Bookie Wright, another veteran Yoruba Nollywood actress. Let's talk about her education. Liz Da Silva attended Belade Nigerian Primary School in Owerun Shoki, Lagos State. She then proceeded to Lagos State University, where she got her university education. How old is Lisa Silva? She clocked for one in June 10, 2019. This on-screen diva didn't disappoint as she dished out stunning photos and a video taken on the streets of Lagos State. So what inspires Lisa Silva's movie productions? For Lisa Silva writing her scripts, she gets inspired by things that happen around her. And that is how she has been writing her scripts since the year 2008. So how does Liz Da Silva handle male advances? Well, you cannot run away from the fact that lots of admirers would want to convert their admiration into something similar to love. They are both different and you must know this as an adult and as a professional. So Liz Da Silva draws a thick line between both. The question you must ask yourself, she said, is how many lovers would I have if I listen to them all or take them serious? So it is only natural that you politely Tell them thanks for the interest in me. But sorry, I cannot help you, she said. So what is our greatest challenge when it comes to acting? It is trying to meet up the standard of character whose role she is playing. She said, you could be asked to play the character of a mad woman, a widow or a prostitute. There are different characters with unique identities, which requires special traits. So doing your best to fit into that role and satisfying your producers, directors and of course your teaming fans out there. That is always a challenge to me. I try to give my best at all times, she said. So how exactly did she join the Yoruba movie industry? Remember, from her secondary school days, all the dramas then, she used to act in them. And she used to be the group leader. That was actually where she got her inspiration into acting from. Then she got into the industry through a friend and a female colleague, as mentioned earlier, known as Iyabo Ju. Her first day on set was like a paradise because... It was the day she has been dreaming of. When she first started, she didn't go on set with them. She was only watching what they were doing to learn from each artist. And as time went on, she was called to play two scenes. She was very happy about it and she did her best. Let's talk about her personal life. In 2017, she had some photo sessions with Soji Oni where she had a bridal shoot. She was dressed in a beautiful wedding dress. Who is Liz Da Silva's husband? She has a son, Abdurrahman, and she often flaunts him on her social media platforms. However, Liz Da Silva is one of the actresses that does not discuss their family. And even this actress stated that you must agree with me that the most broken relationships or marriages start from the pages of newspapers. That is why I hardly grant interviews. This was what she said in an interview in June 2018. Liz Da Silva has kept the man in her life private and her private life really private. Her son will be 8 years old this year, 2020. Well, many people don't know that Liz Da Silva has a very good heart and she involves herself in giving back to the society. Liz Da Silva organizes an annual event tagged Ankara Ball. It's an annual show aimed at helping the needy and it comes up on the 27th of December. When she first started, she used to call it Ankara Day. And thereafter, she started seeing people tagging their various events and karate. So people started getting it mixed up with other people's events. So she had to change the name of her events. Though, the theme of the event is still Ankara. But she came up with another name. And the new name is Africulture. How did she get the name Africulture? It is because of the kind of person that she is. She believes, I'm African. I love where I'm from. And that was why I used Afri. Then I'm a cultural person because I love things that have to do with culture. And that is why I called it Africulture. When she was asked what prompted the idea of making donations to the less privileged people, she said, 
if you live among them and you know them and you have the fear of God and pity in you, you should have it at the back of your mind that you have to reach out to them because most of them are out there feeling neglected. We have presidents, governors, leaders and good people among them. But without us helping them to bring them out of their present situation, how do you expect them to implement the greatness in them? If you don't help them, we're just killing them the more. I don't have enough, but I'm trying my best to always reach out to them every year till I breathe my last. We have so many people who would need the support of others, including me. People should come out to help them. We don't have to wait till we make the millions before we help others. We go on the streets and see them while some are even living very close to you. Help anyone who is in need, she said. So how does she select the people that she reaches out to? She does not really have any particular person that she selects. She sometimes just Google orphanage homes and she picks two among them. For advice for upcoming acts, she had this to say. I would say if you want to be successful in whatever you're doing, you should put God first and do your best. Be obedient, listen to people, positive advice, and the sky will be your limit. These are the things I did in secret to get to where I am now, she said. This is Liz da Silva's son. We have come to the end of this episode on this fantastic Yoruba actress, Lisa Silva. We will be learning one or two new things about her. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for daily content.